The most important difference between the two groups, I think, I mean, the Black Panthers in the States were, A, far more organized and capable. They were extremely well armed. <laughs> the Israeli Panthers were not. Um, uh, but the most important thing is that the American Black Panthers were, um, were separatists, right? They said, well, white America doesn't want us. Well, we, so, so don't take us. We will create our own institutions. We will, we will do for our community. Um, and they were very radical in that way. The Israeli Black Panthers talked a big game about being radical and said, you know, by any means necessary and, and said, you know, we'll destroy the state, blah, blah. They said this stuff, but ultimately they really, really did want to belong. And they never took things to a place of, of extremism because they, they wanted a path in. And when they were offered, and when Mizrahim were offered paths, pathways into the consensus and into the establishment, they took them for the most part. I think my, my favorite parallel that I discovered, uh, there are many obvious parallels, uh, the name and, and some of the symbols and things like that, but the most interesting parallel, I think, is the story of uh, Saadia Marziano and uh, his parallel to Huey Newton, founder of the American Black Panthers. So Huey Newton uh, and Saadia Marziano, they both came from, uh, you know, they got into a lot of trouble as kids and as teenagers and, um, and were very angry, but were very, 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 very smart. And they both learned how to read and write at about age 20. Literacy uh, politicized them and radicalized them. So literacy had a very important impact on both of them. Both of them uh, learned how to turn their anger into something political by learning how to read and write and what's happening around them. So that's, um, and, and they both have these charismatic personalities that were able to sweep a lot of people. And the other interesting th parallel between them is Hugh and Newton was the product of the Great Migration, right? The, the movement of black Americans from the South to the cities of the Northwest and this massive movement that kind of reshaped America. Um, Sadia Marziano was a product of another similar migration, right? His parents were part of this mass movement of a million Jews from all over the Arab world to Israel. They, they all, some Mizrahim also went to Canada and to France, but, but the majority of them came to Israel. So, um, Right, these migrations reshaped what kind of opportunities people had and gave rise to new circumstances out of which Saadia Montana decided to create a social movement the same way that Huey Newton decided to do so.